Hi, Denise from Fleet and Family here. Just wanted to give you some tips on new parenting and some ways to bond with your baby. So you want to think about their sense of touch and to enhance that is by holding them, kissing them, bathing them, massaging them. Yeah, um, that's always a big one. Um, sense of sight. With your newborn, they can see eight to 12 inches away. They can make eye contact with you, and they're very good about that. Um, they love to see your face because they can see your expressions. Ah, or sad, or mad, whatever it is. Um, patterns and shapes. Um, they see black and white, so that's why you'll see a lot of the baby um, mobiles and things, toys, um, black and white because that's what they see. They don't necessarily see color to begin with. Bright colors um, are preferred. Um, and slow movement because everything is new to them and they're getting their whole body and their mind to work in order to grasp things. Sense of sound, um, whisper in their ears. They get used to your voice, um, your different tones, your different pitches. Um, Maybe it's music, um, instrumental. Um, you could try different things to see what works best with your baby. Um, familiar sounds, mom and dad's voice, the siblings' voices, grandma and grandpa's voices, um, maybe the dog or the cat. Being able to hear those sounds will be helpful. Sense of smell. Smell is one of the earliest senses. Um, by the end of their first trimester, the baby can smell food that mom is eating. So when they come out, they'll be used to some of those smells. Um, by the end of the first week of life, the infant can tell the difference between the mother's breast milk and regular milk. And if, they've been, if the mother has been breastfeeding, oftentimes you go to hand them a bottle, the mother does, and the baby will turn towards her breast rather than the bottle. So I suggest that when that you're going to bottle feed to have um, you being the other parent um, take and give the bottle rather than the mother. Makes things a little bit easier. Um, they like sweet smells like lavender and that sweet smell from lavender also helps to soothe and calm and put the baby to sleep. Um, pleasant odors, they will turn their head away from it just like you would do. Um, and cigarette smoke, please, 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 please do not smoke around your child. Um, that's one of the worst things that you can do. Secondhand smoke is not good for the child at all. Um, think about when you're smoking, it goes into your clothes, into your hair, on your hands. Yeah, you're gonna go wash your hands, but it's still on your skin, it's still in your clothes, and the baby will um, get that in their lungs and their noses, and it's just not good, so, um, Try not to smoke around them, okay? Um, sense of taste, by the time the babies are born, they will have a sense of taste. Um, not as intense as when um, you're an adult, but they will have that sense of taste. Um, certain foods will be great for their palate once you start feeding them food. Um, some babies are great with eating baby food, some babies are not. Uh, maybe you're going to take regular foods and puree them so that you can make your own baby food and that's okay too. Um, find out which food you should start with, whether it be um, green foods um, like asparagus and spinach or um, incorporating that also with the uh, orange foods. You don't want to feed them too much of some of the different color foods because the baby's skin will actually turn those colors. I know, horse of a thousand colors. Um, and for those of you who don't know what that's about, that's from The Wizard of Oz. Anyway, um, introduce new foods. Um, one of the foods that they cannot have that first year is honey. Um, so definitely do what you can to introduce those new foods, get them used to everything so they're not a picky eater. Anyway, good luck with your new baby, and if you need more tips, please call Centralized Scheduling for Fleet and Family at 866-923-6478.